I've been fortunate over the last couple Thanksgivings to spend them in Bend, Oregon. And if you haven't been there, Bend is this cool town in eastern Oregon of 80,000 people on a river with mountains and has a community college, has a growing medical center, has an, uh, not an interstate, but a major north-south highway running through there. And it's this vibrant, just real cool feeling community with a lot of the features that I just described that I think Coeur d'Alene has. Um, it's one of those towns that typically makes, like Coeur d'Alene does, the top five, ten places to live, to retire, to, to go to. Um, when I was there, I read in the newspaper that one of the things that they've embraced is a uh, Band 2030 program. And I forget when they started it a number of years ago. But they decided that they had accomplished a lot of what they had wanted to accomplish and wanted to check back in with the community and find out where they needed to go from there. So, uh, again, being struck by Bend and, and, and the kind of place it is, I came back and then I heard Mayor Bloom speak about 20, the 2020 uh, Coeur d'Alene project that was done in 2000 by a, a number of citizens. Uh, some who are still here, some who are not, but it was a community effort to decide what are the values and kind of what's the roadmap for Coeur d'Alene out to 2020. Well, it's 2013 now, and that's not far off. And things have changed. Uh, I was talking to Susie Snedeker before the meeting, who was on the committee, uh, and she said, my gosh, technology, just everything, the world has totally changed. Is it a time to revisit this? Um, and again, I'm, I want to move quickly uh, because I know your time is short, but this is the brochure and this is what was produced in 2000 here in Coeur d'Alene. You know, identified community values and these are broad things. I think Band went through a similar process. What they did was attach action plans to that. So if they wanted at a value of recreation, they had action plans that they wanted to achieve. Um, Let's talk a little bit about what is visioning. And it really is a planning process to create a shared vision. And I think that's one of the key things. It's the community coming together with a shared vision. I had the opportunity to talk to one of their council members uh, in Bend and also uh, the consultant that's worked with them through this process. And they emphasized, uh, his name is Stephen Ames, uh, emphasized that the critical part is the community uh, being involved. And when you f I first heard about that, I thought, oh man, another meeting, another string of meetings, oh boy. What they've done, they had a party to announce the kickoff and they brought in people that had been involved in the community in the past. Um, they invited every segment of the community that would come in. They had voting with uh, uh, internet and just any way they could. They made it fun. The characteristics of a successful visioning, again, includes the whole community, identifying the, the community values, figuring out the emerging trends and issues, envisioning a preferred future, promoting local action. Again, the public involvement is critical. The benefits of visioning, and this is interesting to me, it brings community members together in, in a different context. It encourages people from different groups to come together and explore where they want to go, what they've done, celebrate their success. That was part of Ben's deal. Have a party. Hey, we succeeded in some of these things. But the cool thing, and I talked to Mr. Ames about this, is, and I think it fits with Coeur d'Alene, because ben, ben is not a magical place. They have people that don't get along. They have people that have different views on things, and they have a lot of issues similar to ours as their economy changes, the city changes, a lot of new people, a lot of growth just engaging in this process of visioning and bringing people together uh, can be as rewarding as any of the outcomes. In other words, getting people to sit at a table and talk about and answer some of the questions. Uh, and they really kind of have five questions that they focus on. Where are we now? Where are we going? Where do we want to be? How do we get there? And are we getting there? And in my mind, and talking to other people, uh, one of the ways I summed it up is, what do we want for our kids, our grandkids, and beyond that? You know, our time here is short. Uh, what do we want to leave? I do have one more thing. I want to show you a four minute and 30 second video from Ben to give you a flavor of this. is 
the community's vision for what it wants to be in the year 2030. In 2005, Bend was among the country's fastest growing cities. It was a perfect opportunity for us to take a look at where we wanted to go and what values we wanted. It includes the aspirations of, of what individual community members want this to be as a place to live in the future. A vision that is rooted in community values is both powerful and transformative. And that's why this vision has been so effective. What I really love about Bend is all the mountains and the rivers and the opportunities to go play outdoors. And in this particular case, Bend 2030 as a vision statement has been extraordinarily important for helping to guide where this community has uh, moved as time has gone on. Re-engaging at this point with a different future in mind uh, is absolutely uh, is appropriate and timely. What we like as a family about Bend are the outdoor activities that go on at the Old Mill, as well as uh, downtown such as Art Walk. The recession brought about an opportunity to reevaluate the values that were in that original vision. It has caused us to focus on what's really important, regardless of the larger economic picture. What are the big ideas that you want to see galvanized and catalyzed? What's the big issues that we can get behind and get excited about? What will transform Bend? I love the sense of community that's here in Bend. The initial outreach with the Bend 2030 vision engaged one in seven residents of Bend. Over the years, we've been very active in working with our lead partners to accomplish the vision action plan. Bend 2030 today is involved with two really exciting initiatives. The first of which is to make the vision of a four-year campus within the heart of Bend a reality. Uh, and the second of which is to help to shape how Bend as a city develops into the future a component of which is the Bend Central Area Plan. What I really like about Bend is biking, going to performances, floating down the river. Accelerate Bend on May 24th is the kickoff event for our community to start that engagement process. And now it's time that we move into a phase where we redefine new things, new elements that we'd like to incorporate into the plan that the community would like to capture. We enjoy the pole pedal paddle, uh, and also the, the organized runs that, that take place in, in the old mill. And the, it doesn't matter where you are, whether you're um, at Art Walk Friday nights um, downtown or whether you're in the old mill district or whether you're at Munch and Music down by the river. You, there's a sense of belonging here in Bend, even though you may not be from here. I really love how many opportunities there are in Bend to go do fun outdoor stuff. Over 90% of the original action plan is actually completed and or underway. So we really need the community to step up and re-engage in Bend 2030. It is the platform where collaboration occurs. You're able to bring together a diverse set of values and find common ground as a starting point for complicated decisions. Moving here from a large city, owning a small business, I love the fact that I can participate in Bend, what's going on now and what's going to happen in the future. We hope that the community gets very involved in this process. We want to hear from them. You know, we're all in this fishbowl together. This is our town. What do we want, to, want it to be? That's what we're starting tonight. That's what we're going to engage in for the next six weeks. That's what we're going to celebrate in September. Bend is a fun place. There's so much to do. It's great. So, we're bringing this to you tonight to see if you have interest in hearing more about this kind of process. We can bring you some more information, we can bring you more formal proposal about how this would work and how we would go forward from here. So it, I guess tonight we're just looking for, are you interested in hearing more? Uh, we wanted to get it out to the community too because this, again, is very much a community-driven process. And if the community doesn't want to get involved, doesn't want to work on it, then it's not going to work. 